De La Rowney, Canford, Paper and Card Sample Pack. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back. Today's quick video is an introduction to the De La Rowney Canford Paper and Card Sample Little Flip Through Booklet like we saw with the Murano paper. So let's begin. The back is just the addresses of De La Rowney. And this again was sent to me in probably 2012 like the other one. And there's just a key that you flip the paper around. So in this paper pack, you have the Canford paper and the Canford card. And they're all different colours. And so the weight of the paper is 150 GSM, which is £90. And in single sheet sizes, you get them in A1, as in... Well, I'll let you read all this here, guys. And they're acid-free and linen-free. And you can use them for cutting, uh, drawing, pastel work, good for charcoal. They have a good tooth. So, let's get a look at the colours. So, first off, we have Ice White. And this is paper, quite thin. Then we have Snow White, that's quite nice. Again, it's paper. Then we have China White. We have Barley, that's nice. Ivory, Champagne, it's like a pinky champagne, oh this is the card and it's really, that's good thickness, yep, definitely the card. Then we have Dresden Yellow, that's quite vibrant, oh this looks like paper, that's interesting. Then we have Buttercup, that's a nice colour, kind of mustardy though for me. Um, I think that was card as well, just thinking. Um, this is Terracotta, that's a nice colour. This is Paper. This is Bright Red, and I agree, and it is, feels like paper to me. This is Guardsman Red, it's like a crimson. This is paper. Then we have Cherry, it's a very nice colour. Oh, this one's nice, Bubblegum. That will be my favourite. I do love these shades of pink, very nice. Then we have Blush. Again, it's paper, I think. That could be, no, it's card. Okay. Then we have pale lilac, and that's paper. Then we've got amethyst, and that's really intense, isn't it? Can imagine doing some nice metallics on that, on these darker sheets. And of course, like I say in my last videos, I introduce the products on my channel without doing artwork and then in my next videos we can just get to having the fun with the art supplies. This is royal purple. That'd be nice for a night sky I think that one. This is azure blue which is obviously very pale. <laughs> Then we've got, let's see, um, aqua here. Be nice for water, obviously, that's why they've called it aqua. And this is paper. 
This is Kingfisher Blue. Mmm, that's very nice. And this is paper. Then we've got electric blue. And this feels like paper again. Then we've got the royal blue, which for me is more Prussian. But anyway, this is paper. Then this is ocean blue. Again, this is more navy blue for me. <laughs> oh, and this is, I think, card, yeah. Then we've got navy blue. Okay. And this is paper. And this is basically black, because <laughs> I'm not seeing any blue in it. Just a tinge, maybe. But that's what they call, na uh, they're calling navy blue. Um, then we've got mint. That was paper, by the way, the uh, navy blue. Then we've got, this is card, the mint. Then we've got emerald green. And what's that? Yeah, this is paper. And then we have jewel green. Again, paper. Then we've got forest. And that's paper. Then we've got coffee. I bet chocolate's going to be in here because the last set had it. Oh, mocha. I hope there is a chocolate. That would be nice. I just like the name chocolate. This is mocha and it's paper. Then we have, what the heck is that word? Dreadnought, never heard of it, <laughs> I don't know. Dreadnought grey, whatever that is. Maybe you can tell me in the comments below, no idea. Oh my Lord, what is this? Gun metal. Well, I wouldn't have a clue about that because I don't like guns. <laughs> no idea. This is paper. Then we have jet black. And frosted silver, which is all metallic-y. And that's the end of that. Oh, no, it isn't. Then we've got gold. Sorry. Frosted gold. There we go. That's the end of that. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.